Welcome back to the Morning Show here on our Rice News. Joining us now is OG Okpe with stories landing around the world. Hello. Good Ogie. morning, Dr. Bati. How are you? I'm good. Good, good to see morning, you. Good morning, Good morning, How are you? I'm good. I like our high fives every time. It makes me feel great. Well, good morning to you, viewers. We begin what's trending today in Nigeria. The Federal High Court in Kano on Monday dismissed a suit that a viral video alleging that the Kano State by a Kanu-based lawyer, Bulama Borkati, asked the court to compel the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to release the forensic report of the video involving the governor. The viral video allegedly showed the governor receiving a bribe from an unidentified contractor. The case was dismissed on the grounds that the evidence before the court did not establish that the EFCC had forensic analysis of the bribery video allegations. Nigerians on social media had mixed reactions to the news. From our governorship aspirant, Babatunde Badamasi wrote, Nigeria is one huge joke. How can one be proud to be a Nigerian anymore with all this madness? Another user, Young, wrote, they arrest youths and call the criminals without evidence, but they allow those clearly caught on record to go for lack of evidence. The EFCC Ganduje bribery case has once again confirmed the Buhari APC propaganda on the fight against corruption. Absolutely. I mean, you well, came I mean, it's possible for people to react emotionally. Yeah. Uh, but the court does not arrive at its decisions on the basis of emotions. Correct. The judge will take a decision on the basis of evidence. Evidence, yes. And procedures and what is before it. And it will not act as a Father Christmas <laughs> in order to make uh, people happy. Yeah. Now, what uh, Justice Iguato, uh, who uh, dismissed the case before him, uh, said is that, look, even if there is a freedom of information law in place, you can only request for something that is a matter of public record something that you can properly establish is in the custody of the particular ministry, department, or agency or government from which you are requesting that particular uh, piece of information. But that on the basis of the evidence before the court, mm -hmm. it is not established that uh, the ESCC has any forensic report on the Correct. alleged video. Uh, you will recall that when this came out, many persons uh, uh, rose in protest against the uh, governor. And uh, the gentleman who made the disclosure, he was even on this program at the time, Jaffa Jaffa. Yes, That's I remember name, that, you yes. Know, an investigative uh, uh, journalist. I think it was, there was a threat that he would be, you know, uh, taken to court. And he came on this program and said, you know, he was sure of his evidence and he was ready and willing, you know, uh, to be charged to court for defamation or whatever. Then people called also on the State House of Assembly to take action. But of course, all of that did not happen. Uh, Ganduje presented himself for re-election, and uh, as it happened, he got a second term in office. So this is what has happened. And of course, whatever it is, uh, under Section 308 of the uh, Constitution, uh, he has immunity for as long as... Yes, that obviously he does. And even mm -hmm. if that immunity expires after his second term in office, you will still need to provide concrete evidence. So I think we should be careful. Yes, not to react I, mean, I think that the court is in order, so really, the at, the point, at this point. Yes. They, are, they are not happy. Yes. You know, they cannot do the job of the court. For Absolutely us. not. But I they, think they, it was also just the outrage. I mean, you see a governor being caught on camera taking, and I'll use this word for my safety now, alleged bribe. Yes. And it's... I just, I just, I don't know. It just does not sit well with me to say that there wasn't enough evidence. I don't know. No, but it has to be analyzed properly, Leila. It, forensically, you really have to prove that, yes, this was the case at the point that it happened. So, I mean, I understand the hmm. outrage, but yes, Let's I understand see. the okay, outrage, well, we have but there really <laughs> has to be real concrete evidence hmm. to prove that he was actually taken by I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sold. I'm not sold. <laughs> Look, if, if this had been of a great consequence, you would yeah. have expected expected that the people of uh, Kano State, mm -hmm. having seen the tape or having uh, reacted to it in a particular manner, will not have re-elected right. the same man. But, Correct. You know, as far as he is concerned, this is like pouring water, you know, on a slippery surface. Uh, it, it didn't stick on him, and at the end of the day, he got re-elected. Right. And that's like some kind of endorsement. 
Free, fair, and credible. And this is the kind of uh, contradiction you know, that we'll find in terms of our democracy. Right. As I said, uh, nobody should be uh, you know, vilified just on the basis of emotions. Correct. You know, the court will not do that. Correct. Absolutely agree with you, Dr. Abati. Well, let's head over to the U.S. now with news on their entertainment. Actor and TV host Whoopi Goldberg and Meghan McCain had social media buzzing over an episode of The View on Monday. While the co-hosts discussed the impeachment inquiry targeting President Donald Trump, Whoopi Goldberg shut down Meghan McCain, telling her to stop talking during a heated conversation. Let's take a listen but also convict President Clinton for, yes, perjuring himself. Yes. So many senators that voted to not only impeach, but also convict President Clinton for, yes, perjuring himself. Yes. Those same, many of those same people are still in the Senate. I cannot believe that they would vote to impeach and convict a, a president, a sitting president, for perjuring himself, and they would not vote to convict a president and remove, who and remove a president who clearly used a foreign, wanted to use a foreign government for his own personal benefit to impede our very democracy. Right. That is the height of hypocrisy for this Republican-led nice. Senate. But, but my I, job here... I don't here, understand that. My job here is not to litigate the ethics of it. I'm an ABC political analyst along with being a VIEW co-host. My job is to analyze the politics of it. And I'm telling you the politics of this... But I'm not talking about this, you. I'm talking about I'm the people you my that job are, are here. the senators that are... Let me finish. I let you talk. Let me finish. The Republican Senate. Here's what's happening now. We're going to... We're going to... show ever? Girl, please stop talking. Please stop talking right now. Because you know what? No problem. What's happening? Thank you. No problem. Thank you. I won't talk the rest of the show. No problem. Okay, that's, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. If you're going to behave like this. I'm not behaving like you anything. You are. I'm you are to talking all over. Perspective. Yes, we understand no, I'm not that. Talk but you she... are, but what you're doing. No, I'm not. Is your so I... We're not doing anything. How about this? Well, yeah. well. <laughs> well. One of those things, I guess, you know. Um, no, I mean, this is they not all, cool. Uh, talking uh, over each other, you know. Like we do here other. sometimes. <laughs> it's the but view. You know, it's it's the but view. that's a heated topic as well. I mean, you're talking about this impeachment inquiry. Right. Exact, oh, come on. I, I, I mean, I love Whoopi Goldberg, but I thought that was absolutely no, you have to. You, you have to have respect for whoever that. you're I mean, they, I mean, I understand that she's a moderator on the show, but... Meghan McCain, John McCain's daughter, she's a bit of a, you know, she's, it's not the first time Whoopi has shut her up and, on the show, mm. really. But I think that Whoopi outstepped her boundary this time mm. around to just, like, completely shut her co-host mm. up on air. I didn't think that was necessary well, but at I, all. I think, I think they've moved beyond it. I read the story about yeah. them having a oh, I don't salt, think so. I don't, salt I, and pepper I don't. relationship, <laughs> you know, and that you need salt. Uh -huh. uh, you know, with pepper, you know, with uh, salt, you also need pepper. Yeah. Uh, but I a guess lot of people were against the Megan McCain. It's all the, the of the day's work. Yeah. You know, sometimes it happens, particularly when you have people who have very strong views. And right. what is indicated mm -hmm. here is how, you know, America is divided right yeah. down the middle yeah. on the issue of the impeachment of uh, President Trump. And it's a personal issue for so many people, yeah. especially for so many minorities. So that's why it's kind of like, I can understand why there's a bit of room given to people like Whoopi Goldberg that get to that point where they're like, you know what? Just quit. But it's still wrong. It's still unprofessional. It's I not the it kind of stance that should happen. I unprofessional. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't can really I judge it? That. I don't but think I can. Case, whatever may be the uh, division in mm -hmm. terms of public opinion, uh, all of this will be resolved. Uh, before the House goes on break, mm -hmm. the matter will go to the Senate. Correct. Right, And, of course, what we foresee is that the Senate, where the Republicans have a majority, uh, there will be a lot of partisanship. And President Trump, at the end of the day, may not be removed from office. But as for his impeachment, that is likely to happen tomorrow when, uh, you know, the uh, House uh, takes a vote. Yes. Uh, well, like, while, while I understand it's such a sensitive mm. issue, but I think that um, due respect should be accorded to everyone Absolutely. At, at the point. And Absolutely. everyone's view should be heard. I know yes. that Megan was interrupting the other um, mm. anchor. 
but she should have just let her views uh, be aired uh, at the point. But hey, you also need a moderator. <laughs> yeah. Well, can we take our final story Couple right of seconds. now? All right, um, let's take our final story under entertainment. Social media is a buzz because for the first time in pageant history, Miss USA, Miss Teen USA, Miss America, Miss Universe, and now the newly crowned Miss World are all women of color. On Saturday, when Miss Jamaica, Tony Ann Singh, was crowned the 69th Miss World, she joined a cohort of pageant winners that are all women of color. Miss Nigeria, Nyekachi Douglas, did not win the competition, but she certainly won an abundance of praise for her extraordinary way she reacted when the winner was named. I mean, this was such a Honestly. fantastic story. It's been buzzing. Like, every minute you turn on social mm -hmm. media, you see this praise of Honestly. these women of color. It's really amazing. It's about time. OG, thank you. Because there was thank a time you. when mm -hmm. women of color yes. were not even... Correct.